We've reached the point in the bear market where people are just looking for something real, something tangible that can drive the next wave of users actually engaging with blockchain tech. DeFi contains a lot of smoke, mirrors, and FUD, but this week we're gonna dive into a project that marries the real world with Web3 principles in a fully transparent way. Centrifuge, the real world asset king secured by Polkadot. Centrifuge is built with those ultra flexible building blocks called Substrate, and it's completely customized and optimized to bring real world assets on chain. This is great so that both access to liquidity and flexibility of these investments can be more efficient and completely transparent. This solves a real problem in the traditional finance world by putting these assets on chain in the form of NFTs and creating a compliant path for those who want to lend or borrow funds, reaching more of the unbanked. Initially iterating on Ethereum in 2019, Centrifuge is built on Polkadot with a vision for a seamlessly interoperable and multi-chain world. They have really been fulfilling that vision as of late with their recent partnership with MakerDAO and BlockTower to bring 220 million in liquidity to the Centrifuge parachain. We can use this partnership as a high level overview of how Centrifuge works. In short, because it can get pretty complex, BlockTower is adding liquidity to Centrifuge through Maker Vaults so that borrowers can access liquidity through the forms described here. They provide the liquidity through Maker on Centrifuge so that borrowers can access these funds after they have put their assets on chain as NFTs. And the entire process goes much, much deeper, but the efficiency of the system cuts costs across the board and allows for more predictable returns than the natural volatility of crypto native assets. This market is huge, $14 trillion huge, and it's showing such good returns that Maker is deepening their partnership with Centrifuge through Block Tower. And Centrifuge is even appealing to the likes of Aave, who is looking to add real world assets to back their future stablecoin Go, or GHO. Who knows? Business is booming. And don't forget, this extremely valuable and unique use case of blockchain is only possible because of Polkadot's ultra flexible and interoperability ready infrastructure. Curious how their token mixes in? Thanks, C Saint. The centrifuge documentation is very extensive, but some crucial information for users is missing, which is a problem in my view. This can occur when a project is new and a lot of stuff is happening. This is not the case with Centrifuge though. In the token release schedule you can see that the project is already in its third year, which means most of the allocation has been vested already and the token is around 75% diluted according to the token release schedule. There are multiple numbers about the total supply, but if we go with subscan, it's 492 million CFG currently. On a positive note, the Centrifuge team has self-reported several years of further run rate, which is crucial to sustain through the next pull. This seems plausible when looking at the token allocation. Private sale, public sale and team and advisor take up more than 50% of the allocated tokens. Centrifuge is currently not token delta positive, but tries to speed up reaching that state through governance. A recently passed proposal introduces protocol fees, which should help immensely to be self-sustainable in the future. In an emergency, the foundation holds 20% of the tokens, which could create further run rate for them. Currently though, no such plans exist for the Centrifuge team.